Hey everybody, how's it going today? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome back to Tennessee. And so I uh, wanted to let everybody know kind of what we have done here in the last little bit. Um, you see that we did get the drain lines in as far as the septic and stuff. Uh, we did get our water line. This is, it's hard to believe, but all the way out seven miles out of town, six miles, we're still on city water. So we put a hydrant up front and then we run water uh, down and trenched it and got it back to the back of the foundation. And then we ran it up, that'll be our, our supply up there. And before, what we did is we teed this and we put another hydrant over yonder. So that way if somebody comes with their camper, or if I want to water, water the garden, which I'm not going to have to, they say you get a lot of water down here in Tennessee, uh, we can go ahead and uh, let somebody uh, connect to the to the water down there and that way they're able to stay and stuff like that. So what we have, this will be uh, a 24 uh, by 40 uh, garage. And then the house is gonna be 30, 34 by 56. And so this is a garage wall here. You'll, you'll come in out in the mechanical room. This will be our mechanical room. In the mechanical room, uh, we'll have a wash tub, kitchen sink. Uh, this will be the spare uh, bedroom, uh, bathroom, and another bedroom. And then this will obviously be our kitchen, front room, the master uh, back here. Uh, in a craft room uh, for Brenda wants to do all of her sewing and some cups. And then uh, we'll put our septic system out here. Since you, the last video, we finally got the camper uh, slid out. Uh, we've been in it three nights. And so we're getting our camping experience going. It, it's, it's fun. Um, you know, we got the dog and the cat in there, uh, Bailey and Garth. So, uh, but we had our inspection today. Uh, everything passed. So the plan tomorrow we, is we have just a couple. Uh, we got to get a electric line into the island. And Brenda and I decided we're going to put an electric line in uh, the, in the cement floor uh, for our recliners. So we figured out where we, we want that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that uh, in. Then our cement guy, uh, JD, he will be back. Uh, it's supposed to start raining Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. He'll be back, get it to grade, and then uh, we can go ahead and lay our our foam, our bisqueen plastic, and then our foam. Uh, we got our our insulation. Got some there, some there, and one more section up there by the shed. Uh, you can see the red uh, rolls of PEX. We got that already uh, to lay down. So we uh, we're, we're 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 making ground. And what we did with our water line in our mechanical room, uh, what we decided to do, and probably some people have done it, we run a three-quarter uh, feed and a three-quarter, or I should say a three-quarter cold and three-quarter hot, uh, a home run down to the master, which will, we're going to have our washing machine and dryer in our mechanic, or in our master bedroom. Uh, in our closet, I should say. And so we ran a home run down there, and then we'll split off that with half inch uh, pecs. Uh, the same here, we ran a home run over here uh, to do the guest shower. And then also what we did, um, we ran a half inch to 
uh, over here we're going to go out with a, a water spigot out the side of the house there and one out the end so um that's the game plan there but other than that uh water we was going to do you know put the pieces together the 20 foot pieces or and we decided just to go ahead and use one piece of pex all the way that way uh we have no uh, crimp rings uh no nothing no couplings under the cement that you can't get to which we ain't gonna build to with one piece but with one piece we don't have to worry about any any uh crimps or any anything like that so driveway nice straight driveway uh when the dirt's moved uh we'll back out we'll have a turn around and then out so uh there again it's it's coming i hope we're on the schedule for next tuesday uh for jd uh to go ahead and do our pour on a mono slab uh get it poured and i think the guys wednesday or thursday uh they're gonna start building walls and uh start this thing uh, getting it up and and getting it going so uh it shouldn't shouldn't take long once uh we get the cement poured and then we're ready to uh to rock and roll beautiful day here in tennessee uh i'll have to do a video whoa sorry i'll have to do a video of of coming uh down the road and and into here just how pretty and quiet it is i'll show you uh what we did over here um we started uh using the weed whacker with a blade on it last night and you can see all this brush uh, all this brush we weed whacked a little bit and i'll take some of this where bailey is out of there and then you know i'll work it i'm gonna work probably down to the back of the shed maybe somewhere down there and then once i get the top part then i'm gonna start working down and we want to clean this up uh, so when we're out uh, looking out the back door of the house we're able to see the beautiful river down there now we're gonna have probably somewhere right in here will be a patio uh, door uh, with a covered porch here 32 foot wide covered porch and then out 14 foot or so and I can see I uh, spend a lot of time here looking at the river. So anyway, I told you I'd try and get a video out to you um, on what we got going and what's happening so far. So I uh, just appreciate everybody watching our channel. If you have any comments or anything like that, if you want to leave them, I'll try to answer them. But we're retired now and uh, it's always like, what day is it? I was just laughing people. Uh, said that when they was retired. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.